Hello everybody, I've got a gear review for you today. I'm going to review two um, options for battery carry uh, in a pouch uh, method. Um, so I have the Countycom PCC, uh, the small personal carry case, and then I have the Maxpedition hard use gear Volta uh, carry case. So let's start with the Maxpedition. So this is the larger um, of the two. Obviously the Maxpedition case uh, will carry a lot more volume of batteries than the Counting Com case. Uh, and this one includes their plastic uh, carriers for batteries. You can carry up to eight um, AA batteries. Uh, one of their suggestions is that you can carry fresh cells in this one and then you can pack out spent cells in the other one uh, whichever way you want to assign those. I'd mark them uh, if I were doing that um, uh, or you can carry up to eight of all at once. Uh, you can also fit some triple A's uh, into uh, the same space. You can get three triple A's into the same space you get two of the double A's. Disadvantage is increases your rattle factor if you take those out and just stick with the double A's, you do still get a pretty good amount of rattle. Um, so for me, I don't like things rattling uh, around a whole lot. Um, just kind of annoys me. Uh, so what I've done is just taken a little bit of paper napkin, clip it in the top, both ends. Uh, and I didn't put a lot of time into that. And there you go, voila, no more rattle. Uh, and for those of you um, uh, who are uh, mindful of um, survival situations, if you needed to, you could use that for some tender for your fire, if you needed to start a fire. Um, not my particular situation, I just use it for um, the noise reduction. Um, you could also put cotton up here or just about any uh, compressible material that will uh, provide you that extra cushioning. But that gives, does give you a little option to reduce the noise factor. The pouch itself, uh, heavy duty, 1000 denier nylon, uh, pull tab here, very nice heavy duty tab. Uh, you got your double stitching all around the edge banding, your Maxpedition logo badge right there on the front. Hook and loop closure for your flap. Uh, and you have a drainage grommet uh, in the bottom of the center of the bag. Uh, which is, you know, if you get water or sand or whatever, it makes it a little bit easier to clean that out. Oh, that's a handy thing. Interesting thing about this bag is it's wider at the base than it is at the top. Um, and you can see if I put my tape measure on that, uh, you know, it's just about not quite three quarters of an inch, assuming it was expands, it's about three quarters of an inch here. And then down here, it's uh, almost a full inch. <clears throat> so it's about a quarter of an inch wider at the base than it is at the top. I'm not sure why they built that taper into the design. Um, the, the top is a little bit tight. It's a little snug getting these in there. You see, you have to kind of work at that to get that in just a little bit. Um, but I don't know. Um, I just noticed that while I was doing the review. Um, the back of the pouch has your Molly attachment webbing. Uh, I think you use their tactile straps to secure that to your uh, gear or whatever bags you might be using. Uh, me, with uh, uh, my use, I just put this loose carry in a pocket that's in my uh, everyday bag. Um, but you've also got room if you want to load this thing out. You know, you can put a whole bunch of extra batteries down in that expanded space down at the bottom and you can still close that nice and secure and not have much in the rear rattle. So, uh, that's the Maxpedition battery bag. Now this is the Countycom um, PCC small size. They make this in a small and a large size. Um, and this bag, there's the battery carrier, um, has the nylon um, material for the outside. It has a pull tab here. Um, it has single stitching around the edges. Um, and the edges are actually finished. I can't really tell how that's finished. It's not a cut edge. I can't tell if they've sealed that or if it's rolled under, uh, but whatever. And then it has what they call their tax off uh, lining on the inside. And if you're carrying uh, small electronic gear or something like that, it adds a little measure of scratch protection 
uh, for the inside of that pouch. And that's nice. Back of the pouch, you have these two um, flaps that form a loop together once you close them with the Velcro. Um, but you can run your belt through there um, for horizontal carry on your person. And you can use other attachment straps to um, stretch this, so strap this down to gear. Um, ultimately, what I do is with some of my bags, um, I have the interior loop uh, portion lining on the inside of the bag, and I'll just extend these up, and then that'll stick and hang right there on the inside of the bag. Uh, and then you can actually stack these so you can have another one on top of this one, like that. Uh, I'm thinking one of the bags I actually have three stacked, three tall, with different uh, contents in each of the bags. This one is my battery carry bag. Um, so this uh, small case right now as of January 2010, this is a $6 uh, bag. Uh, this bag which comes with the carry case for the battery, which I forgot to show you is also a piggyback case so you can separate those. Um, you can get this usually for about 15 bucks uh, for the pack and the battery case that comes with it, around $15. Um, for the county com bag, you have to buy the plastic battery case. Uh, what do they call it? They're um, uh, compact military battery holder, and those sell for six dollars each in uh, flat ACU gray, flat desert tan, and olive drab. Um, they also sell this for the CR123 batteries, uh, and those are. Six dollars and eighty cents right now available on the County Com website. So you've got twelve dollars um, for the bag plus the case. So twelve dollars versus fourteen fifty, whatever this uh, case is currently. Um, when you put the case inside the pouch, then you've got nice secure carry. You get a little bit of rattle. I don't know if you can quite hear that. Uh, but there's a little bit of rattle. These these batteries are snug. They're not coming out, uh, but they do just pop out. You just put a little pressure on them. Little tabs in here flex and give space. Um, I've also done the same thing for this carry configuration. It's just to put a little bit of paper um, at the base of each of the clips, and then there's no more rattle. Uh, and I like that. That's me. Some of you guys might not care about the rattle, but that's the way I do it. You can see that the case is a little bit larger than the plastic uh, battery holder, so you can actually fit a fifth battery uh, right in the case itself. And this is my daily battery uh, carry case, so I also carry three of the AAAs behind that, and it still folds down nice and snug. Um, and for my everyday bag, I, I like this because I have all the batteries I need um, in a very small uh, footprint doesn't take much space up in my bag, and this is the one I use. This one, if I were going on a longer trip or if I was uh, out in the woods and needed to carry more batteries, then I'd probably want this bag. Um, and uh, um, and certainly if I was needing to pack shotgun shells, then I'm, I'm sure this does a good job at packing shotgun shells. They do note that you can put um, uh, an iPod or iPhone, something like that in the case, and which you can. Um, I don't know that I would. There's no lining and no padding to the inside of this case, and I wouldn't feel comfortable at putting an expensive piece of electronic gear inside that. The larger version of the PCC, they say, is large enough to fit um, uh, an iPod and whatnot. And I actually have uh, a larger version of the PCC where I have a digital camera, a small digital camera that fits in there. And I like that nicely because it has that tax off lining, and I know that the camera is not going to get scratched up, and it provides just a little extra protection. Um, not much in the way of padding, uh, but for gear like that you, you really want to make sure you take good care of it yourself anyway. Um, if I need to be really impact resistant, I'm going to get a bigger case uh, that, uh, that has more padding to it than just a little carry pouch like this. But for these purposes, I think that both of these cases are excellent products. Uh, they're good value. Um, I think for the money that you spend, you get a lot of functionality uh, with either of them. Um, I think you have a lot of flexibility. Um, so, um, you know, for the Maxpedition and for the County Com, I give them both two thumbs up. Um, I think, uh, I think uh, they serve my purposes really well. Hopefully they will yours too. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and hope you guys have a great day. Bye.